Hello there. My name is Ishwas Aita. I hope you all doing fine. So today we will solve lead code daily challenge. So problem number is nine seventy four. A subarray sum divided by k. Okay. The problem. The the problem says given an integer array and an integer k. Return the number of non-empty subarray that have sum divided by divisible by four. Okay. A subarray is a continuous part of an array. Okay, so we will solve this. So we are given an array here, and the value here four, five, zero, minus two, minus three, and one. So we have to find a sub subarray of all these array. So how many subarrays we can do here? So let's say I will be here. Let's say I will be here. So we can have four. Only four can be there. Or four comma four comma five j four four five zero four zero four five zero minus two four five zero minus two three four four five zero minus two minus three and minus one. Now the i will be here. I will be here. So now j will be. Now j will go from here till here. Now the j will come from. Now j now i is here. Now I is here. Now J will have from here till here. So how many subset we can create from from of this array? So we can create n n minus one, which is uh, which is uh, which is how many subset we can create. So now we have to find a subarray. We have to find a subarray where This uh, where the k can be divisible. The total number of the subarray, which which can be divisible by five. So here the problem says we have to add all the subarrays. So let's uh, let's uh, so let's take considering this four plus five, which will be nine. Nine plus zero, we will take a full sum full array. Nine plus zero is nine. Nine minus two will be seven. Seven minus three will be Four and four plus one equal to five. Is five is can be can be divisible by five? Yes. So this is a this is an a valid subarray. Okay. So we understood the problem. For this, this almost like this array, this subarray, this subarray. Five divided by five, and here five plus zero is also divisible by five, and five plus zero minus two and minus three, which will come to zero. Any number, uh, any uh, uh, zero by any divided by any number is divisible by any number. So, so we will say it is also divisible by. So one, two, three, four, and zero is also div 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 zero divided by five is equal to zero. It is divisible by five. It is also divisible by five because minus two minus three will be equal to minus five, and equal to it will be equal to minus one. Oh, sorry, minus one. And here also minus two minus three will be equal to minus five divided by five. We can we can divide it. So how many subarrays are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are getting output as seven. To find this subarray, how many time complexity we have to use here? So we have to use n into n. So n square we have to use. So which is very large. So what we have to do, we will have a one approach. We will use an up. We will use an approach for this. And data structure has map. We will and we'll use a data structure called map for this approach. What does this approach says? If we find if if we find any number, so if so this is an approach. So if we see if this already exists a remainder in the map. If it does, then we will add the frequency variable to the answer, and after that we will increase the frequency. So I will tell you what is does this says. So first, so when we start array, so it is zero. So what we have to do? The remainder is is zero divided by five. Yes. So we have to say, no, no. We found the remainder as zero. So we have to add the frequency here one. Okay. Now we will add four here. Zero plus four will be equal to four. So, uh, what zero is divisible by five? No. So, what is the remainder here? Four. 
so we have to make a remainder has four and increase the frequency has one so first what is the first rule we have to see if this uh, if this uh, remainder exists in the map no it, no there's no remainder exists so we have to put map uh, we have to put four here and we have to increase the frequency by one now we'll go forward we have a total number of four here so four plus five which will be equal to nine and nine to find nine divided if to find the divisible by five no it is not divisible so what will be the remainder here it will be four again so we will see is, is there any remainder four already in the map yes we have which is which has frequency of one so what we have to do if we have frequency of one we have to add to the answer so we will go and we will add here and after that we have to increase the frequency by one so we will increase this frequency by one which will be now equal to which will be now equal to means which will be now equal to two okay so now total is nine here so nine plus zero which will be also nine and nine uh, if we divide nine divided by five the remainder will be four so we do we have already four here yes so what is the frequency here? 2. So 1 plus 2 will be equal to 3. And we have to increase the value this by another 1. So now this value will be equal to now 3. And let's see. Is there 3 sub, sub arrays in this till here? Let's see here. Do we have sub array here till no? Do, do 5 is divisible by 5? Yeah, we have one sub array which is 5. And another sub array has second has zero. And another sub array has till here we have to find how many sub arrays can we create which is divisible by five. So we have another zero and five which is divisible by five. So only three have so the answer is also three. If uh, now we have to go forward for we have to we have to finish the full array. So let's go. So we have total as nine here. So I will erase some part here. Okay. Make it clear. So nine here. So 9 minus 2 which will be equal to 7. So 7 divided by 5. So what is the remainder here? 2. Is there any remainder 2 in the map? No. So we have to go and add a map here 2. And we have to increase the frequency as 1. Okay. Now the total is here. How much? Total is here 7. Now we have what is the uh, another here? Minus 3. So Na 7 minus 3 which will be equal to 4 and 4 divided by 5 the remainder will be 4 is there any remainder which has 4 already in the map yes we have which is 3 so we have to go and add 3 here now this will be equal to 6 till so we have uh, till now here how many subset we can create how many subset we can create here? So we have one subset has 5, another subset has 0, and another subset of 5 and 0 together. So which is equal to now 3. Now we can create another subset with minus 2 and minus 3, which is minus y, which is also divisible by 5. So we will increase it by 4. And another subset, 0, minus 2, and minus 3, which will be also equal to uh, minus 5 which is divisible by 5 so another subset is increased to 5 and now we will consider this guy also 5 so here minus 2 minus 3 plus y will be equal to 0 0 is divided by 5 is also 0 so it is can we can be divided so total we found 6 subset now let's now let's finish the sub array now let's finish the array here so now we have one here what was the total here so what was the total it was 4 so 4, now here the total was here 4, 7 minus 3, you have 4. So 4 plus 1, which will be equal to 5. If 5 divided by 5, we have any remainder? No, that will be equal to 0. The answer is here 1, but the remainder is equal to 0. So is there any remainder which has uh, already exists uh, in the map? Yes, which is 0. Which I have, I have put it 1 only. Here I have put it 1 only. So here we have frequency of 1 so we have to go and add one frequency which will be 7 and we have to increase this frequency by 2 
and we finish this with array i hope you understood we are getting seven as answer here we are getting seven as answer here okay see there is a case here in a uh, in java or any programming language if if we if you want to find minus 3 remainder of 5 what will be the output here if you want to find minus 3 if you want to find a remainder of a negative element if you want to find a remainder of a negative element so if we run this we will get an output of we will get an output of minus 3 but in google if you go and search here what is the remainder of minus 3 divided by 5 so which is 2 but we are in getting in java minus 3 so that is not the case so here in case to find the remainder of minus 3 uh, of the remainder of 5 it will show in java it will show in google 2 but in java it will show minus 3 to tackle this we will add the divisor so we will add here of k so minus 3 plus 5 which will be equal to 2 and in google also we are getting 2 here i hope you understood this is a case here for negative element if the remainder is negative this is a case okay solve the problem here so first what we have to take we have to take Uh, some value will be in slash as zero, and we have to take another as a reminder. Not reminder. We have to take count, which will be also in slash as zero. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to create a map. So map of when key will you key will be integer. Uh, integer and the value will be also in integer. Okay, map, and I will name that guy as map, and new hash map. This is the syntax we have to use. And now what we have to do? We have to iterate to the array. So here, in this case, we have to iterate to the array to get the value. Before that, what we have to do? We have to add map. With zero and one, we have to iterate here. We have to add map zero and one. So starting here, so map dot put zero comma one. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to iterate to the array till we find till we reach to the end point. So for int i equal to zero, i is less than nums of length i plus plus. After that, what we have to do here? We have to keep on adding the Or uh, value so sum plus equal to we have to add the value i. After that, we have to find a remainder. So how we how did we find the remainder? We have to we have to see we have to have we have to take the sum and we have to divide it by five. So take the sum and we have to find the remainder here. So we will have a new integer remainder will be equal to the sum of k okay. in this case if the remainder is negative what we have to do here but java will take as negative only for us we have to get 2 here so what you have to do if remainder is less than 0 do one thing just add remainder plus equal to k if it is less than 0 just to add the value k after that what we have to do we have to check if the remainder contains uh, if the remainder is contain uh, contain in the map so we have to use a if condition if map dot contains key of home remainder if that if that can if there is already that what we have to do we have to add it to the count so map dot get of remainder after adding the reminder what we have to do here we have to put we have to increase the frequency so what we have to do we have to take the frequency and we have to put it so we have to take reminder and we have to check if it is already exists or not if it is not then we have to 
default it has zero and we have to add one so here map dot get or d fault the variable is reminder or zero and we have to add one here increase the frequency by one so after doing after after iterating to till the end what we have to do we have to return the count value so let's run and see is there some error no it's getting passed let's submit it's getting submitted i hope you understood this code is there any line you didn't understand this code please do comment i will i will help you to understand this problem more clearly and if you like this video please do like and please do subscribe to my channel it will be great to get 1k and thank you for watching bye have a nice day